This is In Our Wars, an augmented reality space real-time strategy game for the Google Tango. And we're going to show you how it works. So basically, here's the title screen. With the title screen, you can see the Google Tango is picking up uh, the position of the tablet, and this grid here is sort of your space map, except space is in augmented reality inside of your own room. So we'll tap Start Game. Now, when you start the game, you're able to place these um, your own bases. This is your cursor. If it's green, you can place something here. So since this room is empty, we can place a base here on the screen. Now it's red, so that means you know there's something inside. If we move over, it turns green again. We can place a base here, but that'd be kind of lame, you know, be too close to each other. So what we'll do is we'll go inside the room, and we'll place a base inside the room. So put it right here. Actually, we'll go, clo we'll go closer to the floor, and then we'll put another base in the corner of the room over here. Put it near this bookcase. Now what happens is it creates a, a star, uh, a map inside of your room uh, with asteroids. As you can see here, you've got asteroids and you've got other planets. If we can find one, let's see if we can look around. We'll see um, another planet. Oh, there's an asteroid right there. Oh, it's a planetoid here. We can see, if we get a little closer, there's a planetoid right here. Now this planetoid is currently occupied by the enemy. So we want to destroy the enemy forces on this planet so that we can uh, occupy it ourselves. If you occupy planets, you get energy. You see the energy in the corner here, which is, um, you know, you can use energy to upgrade your structures and send attacks out. So what we'll do is we'll select this planet. We'll select the first base. You can see up here, this has your three bases that you placed and the health of each one. So we'll select the first one, and then we'll say attack. Now if we look over here, we'll see an attack fleet coming, being shot at by other planets, and they're going to attack this planet and try to dislodge its forces. Let's get a little closer to connect. Um, you know, these ships take a little while. Each ship has its own hit points, so they'll eventually get destroyed by the planet's uh, red lasers. They're shooting at blue lasers. So, eventually they'll all be destroyed here. But they've taken out two thirds of the health of the planet. Oh, there goes, we got one left. Let's see how long this lasts. Okay, so there's a little bit of health left. We want to send another attack over. We have 74 energy, so we still have the ability to do that. So we'll take base one again, send another attack fleet over. Here it comes. We're going to attack this planet. And what will happen is when the planet goes, when the, see now it's unoccupied. Now they're going to fly back to the home base. And so now what we can do is we can send a dropship here to occupy this planet. Uh, but we don't have enough energy. So we have to collect energy from these asteroids. You can shoot these asteroids with a mining laser. And when you shoot them, energy comes out, which you can collect. So we'll look at this laser here, and we'll say, shoot. See this little energy uh, pulse comes out of it? You can tap it and grab it. So I shoot a bunch of times. Now we have 54 energy. So we can occupy this planet by sending a dropship at it. So we say, we select it again. We select the first base, and we say, send a dropship. Here we go. Gigantic ship, which when landing on the planet, Boom. Now you own this planetoid. So, that's how you take over planets. You also destroy bases the same way, but you have to walk around and look for a base. Hopefully we can find one somewhere. That's our base. But where is an enemy base? Oh, look, there's an enemy base right here. Over my desk. So, what we'll do, there's two of them right next to each other, as a matter of fact. Tap a base. Oh, but we don't have enough energy. We have to grab some energy. So, we have to go hunt for asteroids. Which, um, it's probably going to take a long time. Grab all the energy out of it. They, after you've depleted the asteroid of all its energy, uh, you know, it uh, blows up. So you have to grab some more. Okay, now we have enough energy to attack this base. So let's go over here. Select this enemy base. There's two of them right next to each other. Let's grab this one at the bottom. Say base three, send an attack fleet. Oh, here comes the attack fleet. And they're gonna try to blow this base up. So, and then they'll then return to where they came. So, that is 
two people can play, looking for each other's bases. They can upgrade a tech tree to improve their um, ships and stuff like that. And on top of that, they can... Uh, we, we're planning on having augmented reality features where you could go look at a wall and then create portals in the wall which ships will come out of. So instead of launching from your bases, you can actually use the sort of geometry of your interior um, using the Tego's depth camera to uh, launch ships. So that is In Our Wars and uh, how to play it in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions, just email me at ralph at Thank you.